A scary scene at the European Soccer Championship this weekend as a star player is rushed to the hospital after he passes out on the field during a game. Christian Eriksen, a midfielder for Denmark, collapsed in the 43rd minute of his country's match against Finland. Several medics worked frenetically to give Eriksen chest compressions while his teammates choked away tears and formed a circle around him to shield the scene from the public's view. Denmark's coach later talked with reporters about how difficult it was for the team to finish the game after his collapse. There's no doubt that this is a tough night, having to leave this way. Everything, everything, every single thought is with Christian and his family. He's one of the best players out there, and I can say that he is an even better person, so all our thoughts and all our positive energy go to him. After Eriksson collapsed, fans shouted his name in support, with Finland fans shouting Christian and Denmark fans responding with Eriksson. Fans telling reporters they wish Eriksson a speedy recovery. What's the feeling here and in the whole country? I mean, I believe this. Everybody remembers all the drama today. Christian Eriksson. I think everybody feels him today and his family, hoping him that he will recover. And he's a great football player. A team rep says Erickson is awake and stable in the hospital, though there's no information on what caused his collapse. Joining me now to discuss this is Siavush Falahi. He is a sports journalist based in Sweden. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So what's your immediate reaction to what happened tonight during the game? Well, uh, it's just terrifying. Um, you just see an elite athlete who should be very controlled, who should, who you, you know, is physically fit, probably in the best form of his life because he has to perform at the Euros. Just faint like that. You see his teammates cry. You see doctors running on. You see his wife cry. It, it was just terrifying. And, and honestly, I think I'm just recovering from from the stress of seeing that now, <laughs> a couple of hours after. So. Absolutely terrifying pictures. And not very often you see the opposing team, a passionate opposing team, cheering from a player for the other team and unifying in that way. Yeah, I think uh, the fans were just great. Um, and I think it shows that some situations are bigger than football. I mean, in Europe, we are very passionate about football and we are very passionate about our rivalry. I mean, a very big part of football is actually being able to keep the rivalry strong between the teams. But I really love to see uh, Denmark and Finland fans unite together to, to sing out their support because it's not only support to the player, you know, there were around 20, 25,000 people in the stand, the whole world we're about to witness uh, a person almost die on the field and that's not easy so i think they they kind of united at the stadium and it was beautiful to see because it can't have been easy to be there at the stadium and, and feel that because when he was lying down it just went silent and you know 25,000 people silent it 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 speaks a lot and there are injuries frequently on the field right but this was different yeah, um, I, I think this kind of uh, in, this kind of injury is very rare in football. Um, it, it happens more often than you think, but that uh, football players uh, faint or you know get concussions or you know heart problems is probably what we're talking about here. I, I am not a doctor, so I don't know for sure, but. They are very much better prepared now than 10 or 15 years ago, but it's very rare to see players um, <clears throat> faint like this on the field. It's very rare to see, you know, the Filibrator PCR <laughs> starting on the field. So, of course, you know, I, I'm used to see um, thigh strains and muscle pains and, and things like that. But uh, it was a very long time since I saw a situation like this. I, I can remember um, Mark Vivian Foer. I don't know if you know him, but but he died on the field in 2003. And since then, uh, they they kind of, you know, had doctors on every on every stadium. They've had uh, defibrillators on every stadium, and they're trying to make it come to a even lower level football. So of course, it's very rare, and this is a big stage. I mean, if it happens in, in a smaller championship or in a smaller league, uh, not so many uh, might notice it. But this is this is the Euros. It's one of the biggest tournaments in the world and the whole world is watching. So 
of course very rare event i'm i'm happy he he woke up and uh, at the moment this is is well all right yeah the grief on all of their faces just says it all those images we've been watching Siavush, thank you for joining us tonight we appreciate having you thanks for having me